Hi everyone, it's me again. Um, today I'm gonna review the chapter for Black Clover that came out last week. I apologize for the delay. I'm doing my best to keep this a little organized, but goodness, my physics class is starting to kill me and it's just the beginning of it and I know it is gonna get much worse. So there are gonna be some delays. I'll do my best to try to keep it on time. Uh, very likely the chapters from My Hero Academia. Probably I'm gonna do like a double review. I know I still haven't reviewed the chapters that came out for Trojan X and honestly they look pretty awesome and I'm, I'm just so excited to talk about that. But today I'm going to talk about chapter 3 or 4 of Black Clover. There's some things that kind of like got me a little angry but overall the chapter was great. It wasn't bad. And and honestly I'm excited to start the the final battle as against the last uh, Dark Triad which is uh, Senon. So, um, Anyway, uh, let's begin right away. So the chapter begins with finally the defeat of Magicula. As you know, last week, Noel was finally able to strike the last blow on Magicula's heart and thus uh, killing her finally. And of course, avenging their mother's death. And you know, last week, uh, they they got to see their mother finally one last time before she she goes to the other side as you know uh Magicula was still controlling her soul so uh, it makes me think that sadly uh Asia was like I guess trapped in this uh you could say like purgatory where she wasn't even allowed to go to the other side so it's pretty sad but it's pretty um sweet that she was able to reunite with her children before uh, leaving. And also once uh, Magicula got defeated, that means that the curses that were cast on the queen finally disappear. She's no longer uh, a devil. And of course she finally wakes up and she's a little embarrassed because she's pretty much naked. And of course Noel gets a little jealous. <laughs> you know how that is. But of course she's very excited to see that uh, the queen, Lord Pichka, is finally free from all these curses and Noelle embraces her in a hug. One thing that was pretty funny about this chapter, as I stated before, Noelle is getting a little bit jealous, but also even though she stated like a couple of chapters ago that she likes Asta, she's too embarrassed to tell him. And also we see where kind of Noelle gets this from. Her brother, now that he he's finally free from the curse, he's kind of unable to talk to her sister. I mean, it makes sense that um, due to the curse, I mean, he's been containing his emotions for all these years, but now that he's freed, it's just very hard. We then see that uh, Real Spell is finally banishing, so you know um, Charlotte and the rest are pretty much gonna take a huge beating once again because that spell was keeping them alive and also um, this means that uh, Gaja is finally gonna die but it doesn't happen we see that uh, the queen tries to save them by using some recovery magic but she cannot heal all these wounds we also see um, Nat uh, arriving but with uh, Nat's arrival he also brings um, Mimosa into the battle and she uses um, ultimate um, magic and with this spell uh, she's able to heal everyone's wounds and saving them from death so that means that Gacha it's pretty much safe he's not gonna die that's one of the things that kind of bothered me about the chapter I mean I was expecting okay if you let Gacha die uh, I totally respect you for it but the scene that he got saved, uh, it's kind of annoying, honestly. I mean, but I, although I did love that, um, he finally confessed his feelings for Lord Picha. So I'm like, finally. But also one thing I noticed about uh, Mimosa's spell, her grimoire, I think it became a fourth leaf grimoire. If my memory is not bad, uh, Mimosa's grimoire was a three leaf uh, grimoire. But I, from what I'm seeing here, it's a four leaf green morsel. So I'm kind of big. It's kind of peculiar. I mean, I never thought it was possible for green morphs to become a four leaf green more. I mean, we know how a five leaf green more uh, it's created basically from despair from a four leaf green more user. So 
This is kind of uh, weird. Maybe it was a mistake by uh, Tabitha. Who knows? But this is one thing that caught my, uh, my eye in this uh, particular chapter. Also, one thing uh, really cool about this chapter um, is uh, Nocelle admitting that thanks to Yami, you know, his guidance and also for um, staying with Noel in his uh, squad, Noel became very strong because of him, thus giving him a, a reason to save uh, Yami and also vengeance, like even more. They have to rescue them no matter what. And with the defeat of Dante and Bonica, that means there's only one more dark trial left, which is Senon. And we see that Senon, his form looks pretty creepy, but also very cool. But we also see that uh, both Langris and Yuno are really struggling against him. But at the end of the chapter, Yuno asks uh, Langris to give him three minutes and he'll be able to finish the fight. And this is how the chapter ends. It just sucks that they're going on break this week which is kind of disappointing i mean the chapter wasn't that disappointing but that thing about uh god just surviving after all those chapters of sacrificing his life uh, it, it kind of did leave a bad taste in my mouth not a bad chapter but uh, honestly i'm pretty excited to see the next battle hopefully it's just as epic as meiji kula's battle because goodness meiji to defeat meiji kula took many many chapters and it's still unknown if um, more uh, more gates are gonna open. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for the next video. <laughs> Bye.